Hello everyone, welcome to the channel TopGate. In this video, I will discuss multitasking or time sharing operating system. In the previous video, I have already discussed what is a multi programming operating system. Fine. Now, in this one, I uh, will tell you what is the difference between a multitasking and multi programming operating system and what is the benefit of doing multitasking. Fine. Now, let's start with the video. So, in uh, the concept of multitasking is actually the same as the concept of multiprogramming, but with a difference of implementation. That is, the same concept is there also in multitasking, but how we are trying to implement it is actually different in this one. So, let's first discuss what is multiprogramming and then I'll tell you how is multitasking different from multiprogramming. So, in multiprogramming, what is what was happening? Suppose there are several processes which needs to be executed on the CPU and all these processes are waiting for their turn on the RAM and they are ready to execute. Now, the OS will pick one process from the ready queue and it will send it to the CPU for execution. Now, while the CPU was executing that process and in the middle of the execution, before that process can complete its execution, that process uh, required some input output event. Fine. So, in that case, since it has to wait for a time being, so the operating system says that I cannot keep my CPU idle for that time. So, it is better that you should go to the block state or to the waiting state. So, that process leaves the CPU just for a time being and goes to the block state for completing the input output event. Meanwhile, another process from the ready queue will be sent to the CPU for execution and the CPU is executing the process at that time. And meanwhile, the process which was into the waiting state, when it complete its uh, input output event, it again goes to the waiting state and wait for its turn to be executed by the CPU. Fine. So, that was the concept of multiprogramming. Now, in that one, uh, the, the most important thing to be noted is that the CPU was switching the context as per the demand of the process. Fine. So, it was not the CPU, it was not the OS who was demanding the process to leave the CPU for a time being. But it was the demand of the process to leave the CPU for a time being and go and do the input output event for a moment. Fine. But in this one, we are doing the same thing. We are the, the CPU is switching the context from one process to another, but it is doing as per the requirement of the operating system. Fine. It is not doing as per the requirement of the process. For example, suppose when you open your laptop and uh, on your laptop, you can use multiple programs. Like suppose you are using uh, paint at the same time, you are using Excel at the same time, you are using email at the same time, you are using, uh, uh, you are trying to listen to songs or you are watching a movie on some media player or you can, you are using n number of applications at the same time. Now, using n number of applications at the same time means that you are requesting your operating system that I want to execute more than one process at the same time. Fine. So, what happens? The OS will switch the context of the CPU from one process to another in their execution. So, you can see in this one, we are using paint, excel, email and this is the operating system and this operating system is switching the context between all these processes at the same time. That is, uh, it starts execution of this program, it executes this process for a time being, switches its context for to, uh, to this excel program and executes this for a time being, again switches its contact to the third one that is to email, uh, you, uh, executes it for a time being, again goes to the first one, executes it for a time being, again goes to the second one, the third one and so on. So, so likewise, it will uh, switch the context from one process to another, but this context switching will be so fast that it looks like that the multiple processes are getting executed simultaneously at the same time. But since we are using a uniprocessor system, so it is the universal truth that if there is a single CPU, it will never be able to execute more than one process at a time. Whether there is a supercomputer also, that also cannot execute more than one process at a time. If we have multiple processors, then we can execute more than one process at a time. But if we are having only a single CPU, then that CPU can only execute one process at the same time. But it switches the context so fast that it looks like that the multiple processes are getting executed simultaneously at the same time. 
Fine. So let's have a look to all these important points. Uh, the, the first point says that multitasking is multiprogramming. That is, I told you in the beginning also that multitasking is multiprogramming, but with a difference of implementation. That is, multitasking is multiprogramming with time sharing. That is, we are sharing that time of the CPU between various processes at the same time. So we are executing this process for a time being, then executing this one for a time being, then executing this one for a time being, again coming back to this one, again going back to this one, again going back to this one. So we are sharing the time of the CPU between these processes. Fine. So unlike multiprogramming, it is done at the OS level. It is not done at the process level that is it is not the demand of the process to uh, leave the CPU for a time being it is a demand of the OS it is a demand of the CPU to context switch from one process to another fine that is the first point second point says that CPU switches between processes so fast that it looks like that all the processes are getting executed simultaneously that means that this switching is so fast is so fast that every process or um, the user thinks that all these processes are getting executed simultaneously by by the CPU however it is not true the most important thing is that the CPU is only executing one process at a time. Fine. Third one, single CPU never executes multiple processes at the same time. So that is what I'm telling you that if there is a single CPU, it will never execute more than one process at a time. Now the fourth one, it says the task in multitasking refers to multiple threads of the same program. That is so like we have a program. In this program, we can have several tasks to be done. Right? All these tasks will be called as the threads of the same program. Clear? Now the next one, it says that multi-programming in multi-programming, processes were willingly going to the block state. So it was the processes who were willingly going to the block state. The CPU was never asking the processes to go to the block state. The OS was never asking the processes to go to the block state. But the processes were willingly going to the block state. Why? Because their requirement was to complete the input output event. Their requirement was to take the input from the user. So it was the processes who were willingly going to the block state. Fine. The last one, it says that in multitasking, CPU is switching the, between the processes as per the instruction of the OS. So in multitasking, it says that CPU is switching the context from one process to another as instructed by the CPU. So the it was it is not the demand of the processes to leave the CPU for a time being. It is the OS who is switching the context from one process to another. Fine. So I think this is clear to you. Uh, thank you so much.